everybody, I'm Kelsey. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm so excited because today I'm going to be transforming into Animal Crossing characters. First one is going to be my character, and then the second will be my favorite townsperson. We have to do it from head to toe. It's gonna to be hair, makeup, the whole outfit. I'm playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp right now. I love having my own little campground that I can design, and then also creating imaginary ships between like little campground visitors. Oh, I am definitely shipping Bo and Fauna. They are my OTP. I love Animal Crossing. It's all I do is just build my island and then go visit my friend's islands and see that they're so much better than my island and then have to restart from scratch. I feel like there are things that I can pull together from my closet. I might have to end up DIYing some stuff. I might not. We're just gonna take a look and see. I've been cosplaying for two to three years. And so normally I like to have a lot of attention to detail. So it's going to be a challenge for my perfectionism to let go of that and kind of do more of an impression of a character rather than an exact replication. So this is normally where I sit when I'm playing my game and here's my Switch. Okay, so this is my house and this is me. This is kind of my everyday look recently. It reminds me of like Sailor Moon. This is my bedroom. I have so many outfits as you guys can see. Normally I really enjoy wearing outfits that remind me of princesses or magical girls. And that's not something I wear in real life, which is why I wear it so much in the game. This parka, this is like purple oversized sweatshirt thing is something I kind of have right now. I normally wear a giant bow, maybe some cute shades, a pair of white leather sneakers. And I think that's a good look. This is my campground. I went with this whole like cherry blossom theme. So everything is very pink right now. She has a bunch of different outfits that she can wear. This girl's got like an endless closet. The set that I have her wear right now, it's this really cute striped t-shirt with this overall dress. I love how casual it looks. The sweatshirt that I'm thinking is this one. It's like this purple color. It has like a graphic on it, which is not the same, but I think it's gonna look similar-ish. And then I think I need my classic Air Force Ones. I think this looks the closest to the shoes that sh I wore in the game. Chewy approves of the sweatshirt. I think this is the pair of sunglasses I have that looks closest to the one I put on my character. So I'm gonna put those down. The biggest struggle is going to be that white hair bow. I do not have any white hair bows. For my character's look, I was like, oh, I can just pull together a striped top and a denim skirt and it'll be like easy peasy. And I found this like striped tank top, which I was like, oh, maybe this could work. And then I also found this denim skirt. I combined the two together, but when I looked at it, it didn't look quite right. It just hits different. Like it doesn't feel like what my character's wearing in the game. So, I actually did order some things online. Dude, this feels so much better. Ugh, yes. Just had a brainwave and I have Disney bounded the character Belle. She had this like ribbon. Here's my cosplay box. This is all like the clothes that I don't wear day to day. Oh, I hope I didn't get rid of it. I don't think I did. Ha! <gasps> I found it. I mean, it's huge, but that bow is huge. I love wigs because they let you try like any hairstyle that you can dream of. And like, I used to have pastel hair, which is one of the reasons why I wanted my character to also have pastel hair. I feel like this is becoming like, how to put on a wig tutorial. Ta -da! I look like an alien. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I have the sweatshirt on and I have my hair up in this little bun. And so now I'm going to add the curls in the front and then add the big bow right here. And hopefully look kind of similar. It's very big, but it doesn't look quite as cute as a ribbon in the game, but it's bit as big as my head. So that was the goal, I suppose. I love the color of this wig. It's just like the pastel pink hair of my dreams. So now I just need to add the shoes and then I think I'm pretty much done. The last part of my outfit is these high top chucks and then this whole look will be done. You know what? I don't add this much cutesiness to my look that often, but I actually really like it and I wish I did this more. I feel adorable. <laughs> oh my God, you look so cute. I want this big bow in real life.
overall, I feel like I nailed the look. And I just feel ready to, you know, go pick some fruit, maybe go fishing. Like, I'm a cute little campground manager. Ooh, look at that hair though. Look at that wig girl. Look number two, I'm gonna try to recreate meringue. I'm here at my campground and I found meringue. She's at the smoothie cart. She's a rhino friend at my campground. She's the cutest thing. Like for her rhino horn, it's actually made of strawberries and she's dressed like a pastry chef. Oh. Just, she's the cutest. So here's me in my outfit. I think I did a great job. So I'm gonna run down and then I'm gonna go meet my one of my favorite villagers, that's Greta. She's not the one I'm gonna be recreating today. It looks like she's home. It's Poppy. Oh my gosh, she's not wearing the outfit I wanted her to wear. So normally Poppy's wearing this outfit. Thanks Poppy for wearing the wrong outfit. We could have looked so cute together. She's one of the first villagers on my island and she really charmed me with like how cute she was. She's a cute little squirrel. And so I'm gonna try to like create some poppy vibes with something in my closet. I wanted to be really specific cause she is definitely like a pastry baker. So I went ahead and actually got like a chef jacket. The jacket actually is long enough for me to wear almost as like a super short dress. I'm gonna go ahead and try to tie the red ribbon around my waist. Fall meringue's necktie. I looked up different ways to tie scarves. And I think this is kind of close to what she's wearing. Poppy is normally wearing this like little bl blousey look. This is like one of my blousier shirt that's got a uh, Peter Pan collar. And then she's wearing like an apron that's green. I do have like this little green dress. And then I was thinking maybe I could do some kind of black accessory with it. So I put the green dress on top and I've never layered this dress before, but I actually really like it. And then I added this black headband to kind of bring in the black at the top of her dress. And she's also a red squirrel and I'm a red head. So that kind of works out. One of the things that makes her unique is her strawberry horn. I don't really have really good makeup skills, so... I basically got this like super pink blush. She's a pink rhino and that'll kind of give me this like pink skin effect. I thought it could be fun to try pink eyebrows. It's very pink. Her nose is kind of an orange brown. So I'm gonna go with this Morocco. Put it lightly around my nose right here. It's kind of cute. I look like Rudolph-esque, but I don't hate it. Oh my God, it's so light. I can barely see the color. It feels like, oh, so cute. Second look, second wig. Ta-da! I feel like I was wanting to coordinate everything, so I was like, oh, it'd be cute if I had like a little ribbon that goes with her neckerchief, but I don't know. I feel like maybe it's a little bit too much. Yes! It feels so much better without the sash. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna call Michelle and see what she thinks of my final look. proud. It might not be dead on, but I still think it's like a cute outfit that I might actually wear on the regular. It's a very cute date outfit. You're right. I should show up on a date as a cute squirrel and see what happens. Yes. Oh, very, very cute. I like it. It's very dead on. You are meringue. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It literally makes me feel like I'm meringue and I should be baking some fruit tarts and opening a pastry shop for my friends. Girl, we killed it. We spent so much time designing what the game looks like. It's kind of cool to actually bring it into real life. I think sometimes I get worried that I'll look too princessy or too cutesy, but I think it's worth experimenting and trying something new and doing the thing that's gonna make me happy. If you've been playing Animal Crossing, try doing a little character look sometime. Let me know who your favorite villager is. Bye! Animal Crossing, Dana.